Hey Falcons, it's Mrs. D. I'm super, super excited to be your art teacher this year and I wanted to start by giving you just a quick tour of my room. So let's get started. Well, the first thing I want to show you is my tape that's near the door. This tape is where the first person in line should stand and you might find this interesting. I sure did. I was able to find some Starry Night tape this year. And if you don't know the Starry Night now, you're gonna know it soon. But that is where we line up. That's the first thing I wanted to show you. I have two desks right here. My Zen Zone, take your break station. Maybe you need to work by yourself. Maybe you like working by yourself. Maybe you just need a break. You can come on over and grab a seat. I have my art drying rack. Now this is where we put our art to dry. It does kind of look like an instrument and it does make instrumental sounds. So I do like this, I do like it. However, please try to refrain from using it as an instrument, okay? It's just a drying rack. If we do that, what happens sometimes, you can kind of see that the art falls down in there and then sometimes it gets mushed up, especially if it's painty. So I'll move this around, but try not to use it as an instrument. It's an art tool, okay? I know it's tempting, I know, I know. We have some paint over here, some more paint. Over here I have some fun scissors that you can use. Um, they cut different kinds of funky lines and shapes. We can use these at the Free Choice Center. I'll talk more about that next time, but just so you know where they are. I have my um, stapler, plop another one over there. And I have some colored pencils, also welcome to use those at Free Choice. I have Sharpies up here. We don't use those at Free Choice Center, FYI. And then I have some other art supplies here that I usually use in, with classes, I pass them out. We don't really use those for um, centers either, but we'll use those for projects. I have some Free Choice Centers over here. Once again, we'll talk more about that. And then I also have my dust pans and little mini brooms down here at the bottom. My art library is right here. This is kind of like the Mrs. D zone over here, like office passes and different things that I might use. You can see I have this little paper divider by grade. Sometimes if I'm getting ready for projects, I might put the paper we're gonna use in there. Um, so that paper is just for projects, not for choice. I have my reward board, which you all already know about. My desk. Nothing fancy there. I have my um, carpet, which I love. Love, love, love my whiteboard. My new little like magnetic picture directions, which I'm super excited to try out this year. I was thinking like if you had to paint, I might put like number one and then I would put the paintbrush. Oh, I think they're so cute. Some more Starry Night. Raise your hand if you have a question. And over here, you can see I have some of my um, most basic supplies. So most of the time, I'll have things ready for you, or I'll have my art supply managers help pass it out. Also, if you're an art supply manager, you might be responsible for making sure that the stuff gets back in the right spot. So like the scissors are by where the scissors go, and all the glues are twisted, closed, and standing up straight and my pencils are in the pencil cups and they're by where it says pencils and all that jazz. You guys are smart, I know you guys know how to do that. And then um, my, I have some whiteboards over here and you can see I even put the grade level above. Sometimes I might write directions for what we're gonna do up there on the whiteboard. And then if you come around over here, I have my art jobs. See, it says art room jobs and there's four jobs. There's four jobs and there's four tables. I didn't even show you the tables. There's the red table and the green and the yellow and the blue. And depending upon what table you sit at, that will tell you what your job is for the day. So if you sit at this red table, then your job is the table scrubbers. Now, it's not the table scrubbers forever and ever your whole life. It's just for this week. 
We're gonna practice. And you, I move these, look at, they're so awesome. They just move out and then next time the green table will be the table scrubbers. So you get a chance to do all the jobs. We all work together as a team to keep the art room clean. So if you're a table scrubber, I have these fancy wipes over here. They just rip off, they're kind of small, but they're pretty lethal. You can do like a whole table with one wipe or even like half of a table. So I might give you one of these. I might say, go grab one, please. We don't wanna use too many. We don't wanna be wasteful. So I want you to try to get as much dirt and paint and all the things that are on our table off with just one, okay? Can even, if you got extra, you can wipe the back of the chairs, keep them really clean. There's just a little bit of soap on here. So it's kind of nice. I like them. Now, if you sit at the yellow table today, which is right over here, if you sit at the yellow table, you would be the art supply managers. And that is what I was just talking about. In the beginning, I might say, yellow table, I need your help passing some things out. I might have things specific to your project. I might say, yellow table, can you guys pass out the pencil cups really quick? Um, and you would just grab one. You can see this is blue table's pencil cup. I'm actually making two pencil cups per table because it's too hard to reach it when we put it in the middle. It's nice to have two. So there'll be two there. So you'll pass out two pencil cups per table. Or I might say pass out the pencils and the scissors. Not your job. If you're the art supply managers. And then at the end, you make sure it goes back in the right spot over there. Okay. If you're a sink captain, that means you're in charge of making sure that anything that's dirty in the sink is washed. Like if we use paintbrushes or whatever, I will say, do not put the water like this. It's way too much. And you might notice, I don't know why they did this. The water is way up here. So if I put my hand here, it's spraying everywhere. No, no, no. We want it on low. And... I like to kind of rub it onto something, my paintbrush, if I'm washing. I might wash like this, make sure all the paint's up. I can see all this white stuff coming out. I know it's done when there's no more left in there. And then I lay everything flat to dry over here. Otherwise, what happens is, well, you can read my chart. Save the brush. They'll thank you later. Otherwise, what happens is all the water runs down into this part down here and it like gets moldy. It's disgusting. We're not doing that. The next one is the scrap collectors. So you're basically like the sweepers. You have two choices. You can simply, if you see something on the ground, like, oh goodness, there's a paintbrush on the ground. You can pick it up and put it where it goes. Okay. Or maybe there's a pencil or an eraser, wherever. Or if there's like little things and you want to, you can get a little um, broom and dustpan and just sweep it up, okay? Like, and then empty your dustpan into the trash. I have a trash right up there, a trash in the corner over there. I have another trash over here. Lots of spots to put the trash away. So that's it. That's my room. I'm so super excited. Let me know if you have any questions. See ya.